What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, you're Natalie Random. And right now, we're about to watch the reason why my channel died. My most viewed video topping the top to top of the tops, okay? So grab a seat. Grab a seat. And we're about to go down memory lane. <sighs> I remembered like it was almost three years ago because it was. And my channel, excuse me, excuse me. Shut up! My channel has been accepting the changes since it's happened. Um, so let's talk about that right after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Good girl. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. You're a goofy goober, yeah. We're goofy goobers, yeah. Goofy goofy goobers, boobers rule. I don't know if we got some glare from the glasses. I'll take them off. Uh, for those who don't know, my name is Unitedly Random. Uh, Named that way because I wanted my channel to be a place that I can come on and not niche down and be completely random about anything. And that just really means being completely random, but realistically, like, just exploring where I am in life. Well, I had a video called, Where to Get Bras If You're Over Triple D. That video right now, at this moment, is looking at... Oh, I'm really bad at reading numbers this big, okay? 9,000... 970,200, that's too many hundreds, right? 970,202 views. Like at this very moment that I'm recording, right now it is uh, January 22nd, 2024. That dates this video, right? So we're about to go ahead and watch this video. It's only seven minutes and 37 seconds, and this video went viral. I mean, I guess you already know, because I told you, um, I told you how many uh, views it had, but um, it garnered me over 3,664 likes and 4,300 4, dislikes. So it is, uh, it's a video. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into watching it. I don't think I've watched this video since I like posted it, you know what I mean? And action. What's up Jones Bones? It is your girl United Lee Random. And because oh. last week I talked a little bit about my insecurities regarding my chesticles, mm. today I thought that I'd continue the conversation with letting you guys know about a good bra shop that honestly helped me a little bit with my confidence in these trying times. It was at this I point. made that thumb well I made that what do you call that? The thing in between the video and like watching the video. I made that. So I wanted to show you my, pretty much my old bras and how they fit me and then like my new bras, tell you a little bit about the price and uh, I guess inspire some of you guys to embrace what you have until you get enough money to go ahead and make them half. Okay? Yeah, let's talk about cutting them off. Give me a second. So, oh, that was a good. These were you know, my old that was, bras. That was... I actually found this bra on Amazon. I was just trying to look for something that was like a big, you know, busty bra, and I guesstimated my size mm -hmm. because you know how they do the sister sizes. So. Sister sizes suck. In this bra, I got a 40k, and Bebe still does not fit me. Matter of fact, I'll put a clip in yeah. with me wearing each of these bras just so you can see how badly they fit me. So Why I'm looking at this, this also I lets me know from, how much like weight uh, I have lost. Peak. I got it off of Amazon, I do mm -hmm. believe. Um, I liked how it had about five little buttons in the back, but quickly those came undone at the end of the time i probably could only latch about three latches i think this was a good I video for bras, what it was i didn't expect it like to get on the part of okay. youtube and, and then we got these two this bras. is a good these video bras, bras, this is talking the about bras i ever got for myself um he's talking about bras like without 
underwire because I was like, oh, let me try to see if that's really comfortable. And then I got this one with the underwire. Growing up, my mom always told me that um, your bras had to be padded for them to make you look good. She she really hates unpadded bras with the passion. She's like, that's so old fashioned and they're ugly. They're big, like that. you know. But I can under. They're I big. You guys can see when I finally get my final bra. You know, sometimes I go through times where I forget that my boots are big. Like it's like. Not. But these it's like the every once in a while, I'm reminded that my boots are big. My Cinderella bras, um, they were pretty much worn over and over and over, um, and mm. half washed pretty much for fear of like them tearing apart and not having anything to put on. Like I went I really thought of myself like, oh, I'm just, just standing here and well. like I'm like, posted up like I'm in jail. House, so I, I never saw this as something that was going to be like super sexy or anything. It was just like, oh, it wasn't they're bras. Fear of like them getting like, like and they know, fit horribly, which is the reality when you're like buying bras. Very sad and stuff like that. But they just became very like legitimately, this is how I found Persephone. So I stopped wearing bras. So Persephone is so like a YouTuber where, you know, you guys might fight me on this. Um, but Persephone you know, definitely garners towards, like, the attention I just for the try on hauls and not necessarily bras. trying to hook me up with what she wearing, okay? I watched a couple of her videos so and she has a banging body. Like, let me tell you, which nice looking woman. However... The content so that she creates these, is for these, her male fans and not necessarily for like, oh, fitting. this is a trial and haul. Does that make sense? Right? Like I said, um, I mean, at least that's the impression I got from her just day, randomly okay. watching one of so her videos. The links for her clothes weren't there. Right it was just here. like, oh yeah, I got this up. in this size Honey, and now I'm wearing it. I don't know. I really do think that her audience is the male audience. I know y'all can see my fingers. When I made this video, I didn't necessarily think of about male weird, audience. Bit, I was just that, thinking you know, about like, hey, you put this on, you're these are the bras like, right the that I have to buy. These the are the feet. tools that I'm you know, going towards in the future. I and I wanted to help people because living right bras, sexy that you can walk into that store and they will fit you. Okay, I'm actually wearing a Livy Ray bra right now. I mean, the bra right now we're looking at a blue version. This is like a velvety version of that version. Okay, and it's been like three years, so like I still have all of my bras. I got two new bras recently. Um, and I did another video after this, trying to capitalize on the fame of the first video. Um. Oh, there's the video. I'm reading this right it's, now. It's, um, it didn't really do too well. It got 6,000 views. I think I kind of got shot so at that point. YouTube was like, look, like we'll let you do it once. Like a bit I'm not going to do it again. Really um, which I'm thankful for because I if I continue I to lean into that for sake of views, I will continue to be making content that I really didn't care for. Right now, I'm making content that people probably really don't care for. And that's why my channel is dead right now. Um, I have about, I can't really see right now, I have about 5,000, almost 6,000 followers. I've had these 6,000 followers pretty much the entire time um, since I've made my uh, bra video. I kind of blinked and I had like a bunch of followers, right? Um, but past that point, the content that I created wasn't like, for I them. Like I was doing tarot readings, I was doing collective readings. And some people that stayed thing, around right? and some people quickly left. Uh, I kind of wish that they didn't like subscribe to my channel. So like it wouldn't be like, oh yeah, I have 5,000 followers. But then when you look at the content and everything, up, so you see I'm like getting like the girls maybe 50 views a video, okay. right? Legal competition, they win it, okay? Mm -hmm. They ain't got nothing on what you got, okay? But yeah, I was showing like where they naturally are. I mean, it's, I never, you know, the video got put on tits and tops. I did not expect that. Um, and then I tried to, I think it was that, it was that, it was that, it, well, my arm just kind of disappeared. But definitely you guys should check out Libby Ray Lingerie mm -hmm. if your boobs are, you know, your cup over. I think I did get some video, like, not even videos, I did get some comments from women saying, wow, you did help me, I needed to find a bra. You know, and then also women who watched my other video where I was talking about the problem with having big We finally got some prints in here. Women could really connect to me on that. But majority-wise, 
boy. Where this video went. I don't know. I guess I'm not here to rant again, but also show you guys target, these wonderful and it bras shows, because I know right? so now many I have a bunch of people like that are like be being, and it's a start. It's definitely a not start. Not necessarily comfortable in my comments, um, to the point where it's just like, you okay, know where these bras from living right now. How much do they cost me? Thank you for commenting, and uh, thank you for. Supporting the channel, you know, and people say something, and you're like, okay. And I don't really want my channel to be like that. I do want it to be a safe place for me, but it is completely clear to me now that I need to put out more content about boobs, okay? Um, maybe I'll do one video a month, but I'm definitely not going to be leaning heavily into the boobs because if I build a whole channel on having boobs, what about when I get my reduction? that I talked about in this video and my desire to be smaller. Um, that's not going to pair too well. I want a YouTube channel that I can, you know, make money off of. I want a YouTube channel where I could like start a family and be financially stable off of. And realistically, the men who come in go. Um, they're not watching my videos all the way to the end. Uh, they're kind of like... I don't know. You can tell though. You can tell my audience because if I have a video where there's more cleavage in the thumbnail, you can see that it gets more views. The views don't stay. They just come in to look at the boobs and do whatever they're going to do while looking at the boobs. Which, if you look at my analytics, they do that quite fast. I mean, I'd be concerned about how fast that's happening, sir. Like, you only need two minutes? I'm not judging, but I am. If you're gonna watch my videos for my boobs, you might as well let them play in the background and let me get some type of money from this, okay? <laughs> so at this point, yeah, realistically, my channel is dead. What can we do to revive it? The furthest I plan on going is doing a video somewhat about my boobs including incorporating my boobs but i can't focus on that i'm a college degree holder okay i can't be out here look at the bitties when i'm trying to teach children okay trying to pay my degree off trying to get my degree to pay itself off um so there's definitely a balance that needs to be had in which i respect my audience and my re uh, my audience respects me um we're definitely gonna be on this journey because this year i plan on making my dead channel alive again so hopefully uh this time next year i'll be making a video saying how i revived my dead channel right uh and realistically i don't really think my channel is like dead dead i mean i'm still getting people to subscribe and it grows and it goes down and it grows and it goes down but considering how I have 5,000 people here and definitely 5,000 people are not watching my content, um, it kind of shows that I had that video that people liked and then I lost their interest. Um, at this point, I do think that uh, algorithm wise, YouTube doesn't know where to put me. I don't know where to put myself. I definitely did not focus on a specific thing. I'm all over the place. I have Rumi and Me videos, which kind of took the place of my Tarot uh, Tuesday videos, which my Tarot and Tea Tuesday videos were with V Love and Crystals. I still love that girl. Um, v Love and Crystals. And they were me making collective readings. We're talking about Tarot. I still love Tarot. I still go to sleep listening to my Tarot girlies. However, I don't make videos anymore because I left most of my tarot things in America. For those who don't know, I'm currently living in China, uh, teaching English overseas, you know. Um, so because of that, I've been pulling back. But I told myself before I went to China, I was going to take this time to really focus on me, focus on weight loss, focus on my tarot cards. I wanted to make my own deck. Did I do that my first year? No, I was still in the adjustment period. Oh, I did lose weight. I lost about 20 pounds. I mean, you can't tell. 
I mean, I can't tell, but it's happened. Um, but overall, just existing on the internet has been fun. You guys, I was in a music video recently, so it's not like this is the last you're going to see of me. This is not the last you're going to see of me. And I hope that in the future I can come forward with more content that more and more people will enjoy. But as of right now, we're just chilling, okay? We slowly gain a new follower. We slowly grow. I'm fine with that progressive growth. I just hope that, or I have this fear that because we have 5,000 people who don't watch my content, YouTube's like, mm, is it really worth it to push her? And to that I say, yes, YouTube, start pushing me again, okay? Give me that second breath. But will YouTube give me that second breath? I don't know. Um, everyone says, you know, you can always, you know, start a new YouTube channel. I can't start a new YouTube channel. This is my channel. This is my baby, okay? And maybe if I'm rolling in the subscribers and i want to find a way to monetize you guys another and in another manner or fashion that's when i would make another youtube channel but right now i'm just going with this belief i'm going to be delusional okay we're in delulu land and in this delulu land i'm going to tell you that just my existence is enough for you to come and watch okay <laughs> we're being delusional don't laugh at me my existence is enough for you to watch okay and your existence in watching me i don't know where i was going with that either way all i want to say is we're gonna bring this channel back to life <laughs> she's gonna <laughs> revive <laughs> and uh we're gonna do that together you and me and me and you together we're gonna make this thing and do the do i kind of want to eat some barbecue so happy together anyway nice to see you again i hope that you enjoyed this video i was all over the place the main target is to continue making videos and hopefully putting a smile on your face every now and then much love and positive vibes and i hope to see you again next time bye so happy together i can't get you out of my mind oh no no you're on my mind let me take you the editing was not bad realistically about this video i don't want to toot my own heart <laughs> the editing was not bad on this video i was doing what had to be done okay i was letting my sisters know before you let your titty sag go to livy ray lingerie buy a bra and put them in a bag <laughs> wow beautiful beautiful uh what up I did my makeup for this, so like the video if you're still here. Thank you. Also, let me know if you have any videos that you want me to create down below. Please don't let it be only about my boobs. I can answer those really quickly. My, give me a second, because people always be asking me how big my boobs are. Give me a second. Currently, I have a new bra. I think it's a sister size. A sister size and it looks like it don't tell me the size it is no let me see it's a 95 double L okay that's what you got right now 95 double L that's a B C D E F G H I J K L okay in the past, I used to say I was a double M for mommy milkers, but I think I have bras that are 90 double M, okay? That's what I mean about sister size. If you don't understand, one more time. Sister size just means that, oh, if we make the band bigger, the cup can be smaller. That's bullshit. I never liked the sister size, okay? Titties are made differently. They have different shapes and whatnot. So even if you made my band bigger, it doesn't mean that the shape is, you, look. Somebody out there understand what I just said without me going into too much detail, okay? You understood me.
you understood me, okay? And if you understood me, you're my target audience. Hi, nice to meet you. Please like and subscribe. I'm like being like uh, buried. Buried by... I wanted to say, but I'm not gonna say that because this is YouTube and I'm a good girl. Bye!